The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Uh, welcome to the December 31st, the terrific Tuesday, last day of the uh, year, uh, Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Just use that for a um, for a uh, New Year's Eve resolution for a New Year's resolution. Just think about that. Think about how many folks out there that you know that are absolute prisoners of their past. Now, think of the game that you and I play here, if we want to call this a game. No reason not to call it a game. And think about that. Think about your last trade. Does your last trade really matter? Yeah, you want to learn from it. You want to see what worked, what didn't work, maybe what you overlooked. But it's all about being a pioneer of your future. If you sit there and become a prisoner of your past, well, I can tell you where your resistance level is out there. But look, thanks for joining me. Always great to be with you. And if you are traveling, you know, safe travels out there. We'll be back at it in just a couple of days. So really no rest for us out here one day. Uh, but nonetheless, we will take that rest. Now, look, I would love to hear from you. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered here. Just send me an email, but send it out quickly. Uh, just simply because of ISPs and when those emails actually get to me. It's Steve at TFNN.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific Thursday, December 31st. 2019 out there and uh, let's go take a look at the uh, markets right now we've got a mixed bag out here obviously light trading day the question is can we trust what's really going on in the markets out here well we're going to go take a look at what the markets are doing take a look at support and resistance and and everything else that we can uh dow's right now is off 48 points s p down three nasdaq off six no big deal there russell is up seven points the semis are just slightly green um the spot volatility index is green it's staring down at $15 even Stephen. Gold's up seven. Silver's down three pennies. Lights we crude is off 12 cents. Lead the charge dollar wise. Stock wise to the upside, it's Tesla up $4.44, 1%. 419 is what it's trading at. The trade desk is trading out at 428. That's up one and six tenths percent. Innovative Industries up four bucks. Dexcom up three. To the downside, it's Mercado Libre, Core Laboratories. They're off 10 and 970 out there. Booking Holdings is off eight. Northrop Grumman down four. So we've got plenty to uh, look at. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at out there. So we've got a couple of requests. So first, John in Sarasota, you had asked me about an instrument. Uh, I, I, I took a look at it before we started, DLGNF. It has days where it sells where there's 100 shares that trade hands. And there's no way for me to give you any kind of real glimpse as to what that equity is going to uh, do out there. So please send me another one. I'm happy to do at it. But, but when I took a look, if, assuming that I have the correct ticker symbol out there, there are plenty of days where just 100 shares traded. So um, just no way for me to do any kind of technical analysis there. Yesterday we had talked about uh, there was a request to take a look at currencies. So I put together a little something on that. In fact, let's go do that first. Let's just uh, uh, take a look at uh, that. Um, we'll do that by beginning here. Is uh, We're going to take a look at uh, the euro, the yen, the Great British Pound, and obviously then the U.S. dollar index. And as you're going to see from the charts for the euro, they suggest that there's still a further counter trend rally out here. So from a market profile perspective, the euro U.S. dollar currency pair, and I took this snapshot probably about an hour ago or so, it was just going to be more efficient and easier for me to do it this way versus kind of fumbling around with charts, so to speak. But here, when you take a look at these profiles, we've got the daily in the upper left, the weekly in the upper right, the uh, monthly is in the lower left, 
and the quarterly is in the lower right hand side. What we can see here is that the price is above the top of the daily, above the top of the weekly. Uh, it is below the monthly and it is trading inside the, I'm sorry, below the quarterly. It's trading inside the monthly profile. So what that sets up for us is the likelihood of price moving up to either the center or the top of that monthly profile. That's at the 112.92 and 114.77 level. So that's what the market profile uh, charts are communicating to us. The daily chart, when we use my other background chart, what they show here is they clearly show an A to B equals CD to the upside. These suggest that price could run all the way up to its TD nine count breakdown level. That's at the 113.94 area. That's way back in the uh, July time frame. You've got a 1 to 1.8 to B equals CD that takes you to 112.85, 1 to 1.272, gets you back up towards that TD nine count resistance. But at this stage here, it does look like there's further upside inside of the dollar. I'm sorry, inside of the euro. That would put some pressure on the U.S. dollar. The monthly chart for the euro suggests, quite frankly, that it could. Now, I'm not going to. This is what it's this is what the charts are telling us that the euro could actually make a run for its monthly breakdown level, and that would be at 1.2084 out there. We would need to see two months in a row of a close above Stevie's red line. That's currently priced at 111. Uh, one one point one one two to be exact out there. But at this stage, all the charts for the euro suggest a further counter trend rally as we come in to 2020. Now, as you're going to see from the charts for the pound, they suggest that the counter trend rally, in fact, may be over. Now, I'm calling it a counter trend rally. You might call it something else. But from a market profile perspective, here's what we know about the Great British Pound. Price is above the daily profile. Prices above the top of the weekly profile. Now, both of those say, okay, you're above resistance. We'd have to use other tools to identify resistance. We do that out here. If you take a look at the monthly chart, lower left out here, this is where we can say, okay, if this has been nothing but a counter trend rally, that is very likely that it's ending now, which is up towards the top of the profile. That's 1.3239. Now, if price is able to close above that, there is a new quarterly profile. The top of that box is 1.3652. Whether price can get beyond that, well, we will just have to wait and see. But at this stage here, looks like the Great British Pound rally is coming to an end. Now, the weekly chart for the pound, that shows a nice roads momentum indicator bottom out there. Nice little key reversal uh, session that uh, generated that. And this suggests that uh, what pr price could do, okay, if it takes out those resistance levels, is get all the way up to the 143 area. That would be its next TD nine count resistance level. However... What we do know is that what price did in this move, so we've got the weekly at the top of the profile. We've got the weekly. We're not showing the profiles on this chart, but here's a weekly chart where price ran right into resistance of those breakdown levels, so TD nine count breakdown areas out here. Now, price is not below Stevie's green line, and that's the one thing that would suggest there could be a further counter trend rally if it can clear resistance, because last week was nothing more than a test of Stevie's green line. Remember, when that line changes colors from red to green or from green to red, tells us about an impending test of price in that line. And in essence, that's really what took place yesterday. That is a bullish outcome. However, we know where there's clear resistance. We can see that by taking a look at these charts, by utilizing our TD9 count breakdown and breakout levels. In this case here, it's the breakdown level. If we go take a look at the yen, what our charts are suggesting is that it's got strong support on a further move lower. That's a strengthening of the yen at the 108.43 level. Here, when you take a look at those profiles, you can see a bullish structured daily profile. And therefore, there would be nothing more bearish in a failed bullish pattern. But right now, the yen, strong support at 108.42. We get back from this uh, breakout here. We'll finish this up, and then we'll go take a look at Light Sweet Crude for John in our Tiger's Den. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow 54, s and is down to four. We're going to go out to Martinez, California, and speak with uh, Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Happy New Year to you and your family. How are you today? I'm doing great, Steve. I want to do the uh, same to you. Wish you the very best for you and your family in the 2020 year. Thank you very much. We're going to need our 2020 glasses on as we uh, deal with next year out there. But for 2019, we're going to go and take a look at uh, uh, ticker symbol MOS Mosaic. And uh, you've been in this for a while, I believe. Tell me uh, what you're looking at, how I can help you. I have been since the kind of upper teens. Uh, I'm just doing this one with options and I have plenty of time. But I can't remember when we last looked at it. I was just hoping you could kind of do a review of it again just to see sure. where we're at and, and you know, different resistance levels, things that we typically look at. Yeah, for you, the biggest uh, resistance level is actually coming from the monthly time frame chart. And uh, price has um, is pretty much hit the top of that oscillator and change line. Um, the actual value, let's see if I can do this here fairly quickly. Yeah, there we go. So the actual value of it, so I can give that to you, um, is uh, 2171. We're at 2153. The high so far has been 2180. And that has proven to be a significant resistance level ever since uh, March of this year. So the mere fact that you haven't surpassed it at this stage of the game isn't a problem. But you're really looking for price to uh, close above on a monthly basis uh, that area to then suggest a move up to the 3162 range. 
from simply a profile standpoint, price is consolidating inside the daily profile. The resistance there is 2180. That's the high. We just had taken a look at that. The support level here inside of uh, Mosaic on a daily basis is between 2020, uh, how about that for coincidence, or 2052 out there. So you really don't want to see price close below 2020. If it did, it would just suggest that uh, price is going to pull back uh, further out here. From uh, a day, uh, price is above the weekly chart, uh, weekly, when I say the weekly chart, the weekly profile. So that's uh, nice out there. That was 2070. When I take a look at the uh, daily time frame, the actual price action over the last couple of days here, price pulling back, trying to test that oscillator and change line on a daily basis. That's normal. We see that when that line changes color, which it did maybe about five, six trading sessions ago. So there could still be some jostling around here, maybe, uh, you know, a, a move sideways, a, a little consolidation inside this box. On a daily basis, if price can clear 2180, 2281 becomes your next resistance level out there. And uh, that's pretty much what I see. I don't have anything really on a weekly time frame chart that's going to add to what we just took a look at but uh, uh, here is the weekly uh, chart and really nothing here it does show a nice bottoming uh, pattern out here the roads momentum indicator bottom signal but I'd really use the daily and the weekly numbers that we took a look at to kind of guide what mosaic is doing does that help out okay no oh, very helpful no I appreciate it it gives me again something to be watching for and, and uh, but you don't see any reason to I mean, just stick with the trade and, and nothing <laughs> particularly negative that you see at all no re really there's 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 nothing you know the the negative so to speak as far as the market is concerned so you know you've got an you've got an option trade here and i know that you're you know it's for for longer out um and so we we just know that it's uh for for whatever reason that oscillator and change line on uh, the monthly level has been a, a key area of resistance and price has gotten up to that in the month of uh, December. So is there a reason to sell? No, you you know you're at resistance out here. Um, the reason to sell would have to be a close below 2020, and so then you've got to do kind of the assessment. To, hey, if that were to happen, um, you know what is that? do to the trade and, and you know you, you, you could only estimate what it might do to the trade there but i don't see any topping pattern um you know even though we've got that resistance i don't see any you know let me just do a quick wave count uh for the heck of it off of this uh, low out here which was price was really testing that 1772 support so you know unless this is one of basil's single leg a failures which there's nothing to suggest that that's the case I, I could not tell you to, to exit the trade here. There's just nothing to, there's nothing here to tell us to do that. All right. Thank you very much, Steve. And again, have a happy new year. I hope you have a healthy and happy one. And that's for you and your family. And, and we'll see what kind of trades we have and what this market does. It's going to be interesting. It, it, it most certainly should be. So looking forward to 2020. Always good to hear from you. Uh, be safe out there. We'll look forward to uh, speaking to you in 2020, uh, which could be on uh, Thursday. All right, take care, Steve. Bye -bye. You bet. You bet. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Uh, Tarpon2 is asking the question, is ACB uh, breaking out today? So let's go take a look at that is Aurora Borealis, right? Something like that, Aurora Cannabis. Aurora Cannabis. So having a nice day out here. Uh, breaking out or really wouldn't the question really be, hey, has this formed a bottom out here? So if we go take a look at uh, ticker symbol ACB, here's what we know. Tarpon, will this answer the question for you? Uh, it has a TD nine count bottom pattern. That was yesterday. Uh, price has been moving lower, doing less relative energy. So this is all a good sign for Aurora Borealis. Uh, that it is a bottom. Now, it's possible that all this is going to do is make a counter trend run up to resistance. That would be $2.50 or 212 I don't know whether we'll be able to break through that or not. But if you're asking Stevie, is ACB, has it formed a bottoming pattern? Then the answer there, Tarpon 2, is absolutely. When we take a look at the daily time frame chart, market profiles, price is trading below daily, weekly, and monthly. So we don't have any support for those uh, 
we don't have any support, so to speak, uh, but you do absolutely have a bottoming pattern. If I look at the weekly time frame chart out here, the weekly time frame chart would say, okay, maybe not so fast. We'd like to see, or you would like to see price get above 233 in order to confirm that, but that might just be something you have to sit on. The daily has given you a bottom signal. The monthly time frame chart out here, we mentioned it was below the support of its monthly profile. It's possible that what price is doing here in this instrument is pulling back to its breakout area. That was a buck 60 out here. Formed a nice roads momentum indicator top. So from a weekly standpoint, it's going to be in bar six of a TD9 count. I don't know if the TD9 count will in effect um, complete on a, a monthly time frame. We've got a long way to go before that, but I would say price has pulled back very close to, but not exactly to its breakout area. So the daily is saying, yeah, not breaking out today, but uh, generating a uh, bottom signal. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to Aurora Cannabis Inc. out there. <clears throat> By the way, I'm long. Uh, the uh, pot uh, stocks and sector out there, but it's a different stock and it's a stock that has um, a really good looking uh, bottoming pattern uh, out there. So uh, let's go. Uh, let's go back to the currencies. Let me finish off the uh, currencies, and then John and the uh, Dan. Well, we're coming to a break here, so I will just simply hold off. But uh, John, we come back to this break, uh, and everybody else out there, let's finish off the uh, currencies. We were taking a look at the Japanese yen. That'll lead us into the U.S. dollar, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, light sweet crude uh, contract, February of 2020. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're just rocking and rolling here on New Year's Eve. Hey, have you ever done the uh, Times Square ball drop for New Year's Eve? It's a blast. You've got to you've got to do it at least once. Now I've done it a couple of times. Um, let me share with you the way that I would suggest it. Now it was many years ago, so I don't think so. I don't think things have changed that much. But there's a there's a couple hotels that are really right across from the ball drop. Now the one that I stayed at specifically, there were about a handful of rooms. You had to book them well in advance. Uh, I believe it was called the. Uh, Millennium Hotel, something like that. Something like that. I don't know if it's still there, but the way that it's situated, when you get up to your room, at least the room that I have uh, rented there, uh, you've got actually, you, and you get there early because they won't book it for a day, so you've got to have a weekend or three days. You know, obviously we're during the week out here, or at least a couple of days, and you can actually watch them putting the ball up and testing it. But on uh, New Year's Eve, you know, right as you're getting towards midnight, they have uh, because of where it's situated. Uh, you are on the inside of the pylon, so to speak, with all the police officers where everybody else is crushed on the other side. So you have to walk out of the hotel, walk over to the barricades, look up, uh, let all the confetti fall, watch the uh, ball drop. It's really a blast. And go back up to your room and, you know, continue the celebration. I would want to be doing that by standing out there with a million people. But just on the other side of the barricade, well, that's a beautiful thing. In any event, enough of that. Uh, let's go back to the currencies out here. We were taking a look at the uh, Japanese yen. So what you're going to see on these charts here, as I had mentioned, you're going to see strong support from a TAS market profile standpoint. And that's at 108.42. It's very clear that this is a bullish structured profile. You can see on a daily basis how this level had been tested. It was rejected. Price went up, tested the resistance level or the top of the box. Now it's come down. So what we know about the uh, yen, it's just consolidating sideways in between the top and bottom of its TAS market profile. So that's with the daily time frame chart. You can see a new profile that is formed on the weekly basis. Price trading in between profiles and the monthly not really providing us with a lot of information there. Now, if the yen busted through 108.43, then price would likely move down to its TD setup breakout, TD nine count breakout area. And that's at the 106.33. That's that red horizontal line on the daily chart that you see. This formed a nice roads momentum indicator bottom when it did. Uh, but uh, first, uh, the yen would need to close. If it's going to go lower, you can also see that what price has been doing is testing its weekly oscillator and change line, that red line. So really strong support for the yen in this area. Now, everyone keeps, as I hear, keeps touting the demise of the uh, U.S. dollar. And I say, as I listen to those folks talk about it, they are just like oblivious to the potential the potentiality, is that a word out there, of this global debt bubble? What do we mean by that? Look, folks, where we're at right now, and you can go look at it online. It was in May of 2019, so you can just search for it. You can put in BIS, not uh, BS, but BIS, okay, and uh, put in something like U.S. dollar denominated debt. And you'll see the report that's out there. That shows that there's a 11, this was as of May, right, that there's $11.5 trillion of U.S. dollar denominated debt. Now, that might not seem like a big problem to you, but just go back just a couple of decades ago. Just go back to the 80s when the Bank of Australia sold Swiss loans without even considering the currency aspect, the Australian dollar. But when the Swiss franc rallied against the Australian dollar, what those borrowers, borrowers incurred was substantial losses, massive losses out there, led to countless bankruptcies. This is the pattern 
for what is going to play out here. The dollar is still the king. But let's go take a look at the U.S. dollar index. And from a market profile perspective out there, what the U.S. dollar index should do is find support at 94.98. That is the bottom of its monthly profile. That is the lower left-hand corner. But if we go take a look at a daily time frame chart here for the U.S. dollar index, now this is a continuous contract. What this is showing us is an A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, it's already hit the one-to-one -one level, but that doesn't mean that this is where it stops. It could, but doesn't mean that it will. It could go all the way down in that 95.56 area, 95.41. It could even go lower than that. But the U.S. dollar index is just forming its next buy pattern, and it would be a Gertley buy pattern. So all I can say here, folks, is long live the king. I am not in that camp that the U.S. dollar index is going to croak. In fact, just the opposite. I don't say that starts tomorrow, but I do say just the opposite. Okay, so let's go take a look at Lightsweed Crude. What can we gather out of Lightsweed Crude? Well, a couple of things out here, John. If I just put up this chart, this chart here shows four different time frames. You're interested in the panels on the very right-hand side. That would be the weekly and the daily. Now, here's kind of the cool thing that I'll share with you. When you take a look at the daily time frame chart, you're going to see what is, in essence, the current profile, right? The current profile. When we take a look at that, um, what we know here is that 59.71 would be support and 60.05. Those would be a bullish structure. Uh, that's the center and the bottom of the profile. However, look at the current day's color of the bar. It's orange. Typically, when a bar turns orange, not always, but typically, it uh, is a suggestion, a suggestion that we're going to see a new profile. Well, voila, let's go use Stevie's Super Doppler tool out here. And I've got that applied right now to that February. Oops, that's got to get the right uh, tab out here. As we take a look at Lightsweet Crew, let's blow it up. If you want to know where those profiles are, well, I think Stevie's got them. So we're switching here what looks like from a bullish structured profile to a bearish structured profile. Now, it's hard to see with uh, price because it is uh, hiding the top of the box. So I'm just going to turn price off right now. This is not a guarantee of what those profiles will look like, but it's a but it's PDG. It's pretty darn good. Uh, and so you can see it's a bearish structured profile. It should be no surprise if Lightsweed Crude pushes back to 60.25, the bottom of that profile out there. Whereas if price closes above 61, 64, that's the top of this current profile, boy, that says that price wants to move higher. Now, move higher to where is the question out here? Well, what I do is I take a look at this contract, not this contract, but my other charts, and they tell us, they tell me, they tell you that where price is targeting is 6301. 6301 is the breakdown resistance level. We have seen that level tested once before, and then price simply just did a nice uh, turnaround from there. In fact, that was a wide-ranging bar. It was a gap to the upside. It was September 16th. You want to understand how strong resistance is? Well, there it is. And without that TD9 tool, we would not have known that resistance was at 6301. It was above profiles and everything. We wouldn't have been able to have known that, but now we do. So 6301 is more likely the target. We may just see some kind of consolidation uh, inside Lightsweet Crude. At least that's what the daily time frame charts are communicating to you and I. You asked about the weekly as well. If we take a look at that weekly time frame chart here for Lightsweet Crude, see what we can figure out here. Really not much. There's not a lot. I mean, you've got 7440, 74.26 to the upside. But uh, and what you can see here, John, is that uh, last week Stevie's red line turned green. And so what you and I know is eventually over the coming weeks out here, we should see price and that line catch up to each other. But this stage of the game, let's go with the information we've got. You've got a brand new daily profile. If price closes over 6164, you know what the next upside target is. And if there's a pullback, no big deal unless price closes below 6025. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. 
The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in a Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. S&P is too uh, in the den. Do we have somebody on the line? Is Bill on the line? Yes. Hey, perfect, perfect. Hey, Bill, how are you doing today? Happy New Year to you. Thank you, Steve. Same to you. I'm doing well, and, and hopefully you are also. And Absolutely. I wanted to talk to you today about the ZB, about the 30-year bond. And just, uh, Steve, as I look at the, the monthly, the weekly, and the daily, <clears throat> On the, on the monthly, we're coming to the point of control, but certainly it's downtrending. Same on the weekly, and the weekly could close below its TAS box at the end of the week. It's certainly trading below it now. And the same on the daily. It's pretty close on the daily. So I just want to get your thoughts on the, on the, uh, on Z, on the 30 year bond. And sure. So what are, are you doing anything just yet? Are you in a trade? You're looking to. Do something. Any, any, any additional info there? Uh, I certainly trade it more actively during the day, Steve. But okay. I am looking for a, a longer-term position. Um, you know, it appears to me that bonds are coming down and and could be coming back to some of their you know previous support areas. So I yes, I'm looking at a longer position. Okay, so let's do the following. Why this uh, screen here gins up its uh, uh, information? Um, oh Lord, where did I put that chart? I didn't put it there. Okay, 
Give me a second here. While you were, I was listening to you while we were talking. I was multitasking and uh, seemed <laughs> to have uh, screwed up. That's okay. Here it is. We're back. Uh, so here's what we know. First, the, I think the most important level for you to be watching and observing is 155 and 17 30 seconds out there. That is the TD nine count uh, breakout level. And over the course of the last, let's say, uh, t including today, two, three, four, five, five of the last about eight or nine sessions, prices pushed down and has tested and has rejected that level. Now, that is suggesting to me, uh, Tom O'Brien uh, was the one who coined the uh, phrase out there, that phrase being, if you can't bust them down, it will try to bust them up. And so it appears at this stage here, unless there's a close below 155.17 out there, and I'd have to say a close for two trading sessions, um, we just have sideways movement or something that actually wants to try to springboard and move higher. And maybe that's 158-ish area. Maybe it's beyond that. But that's what that's what's going on when I take a look at my um, Ninja Trader charts. You had mentioned profiles out there. So I have the ability here to take a look at the uh, profiles using my synthetic version of the contract that way we can take a look at monthly quarterly uh you know the whole nine yards yes you are also correct that price is pushing down towards the bottom of a bullish structured box so it's right there at support so you've got that support you've got the td nine count breakout support um the daily is saying i'm not sure that i want to head lower the weekly hey it's trading below the bottom of the uh, profile out there right. so there's your weakness versus let's say strength when i say strength because price hasn't been able to bust through a key level of support out there. The monthly doesn't really provide us or the quarterly. Now, on a quarterly basis, price is above the top of that profile out there. So that um, qualifies as being really long-term uh, bullish out here. Uh, if I do take a look at the weekly time frame charts, look for some type of uh, top out here. Let me see where were we at approximately in the uh, wave count. Well, it did form wave number seven, letter G, to the upside. Uh, but uh, and, and so I, I think you've got to make your decisions right now really based upon the daily time frame. I think it's a daily time frame that uh, will help you to understand what uh, T-bonds want to do. Because if it can break through support, then I'd be on board with you that T-bonds are signaling and want to add lower. But right now you've got two levels of support on the daily and one level of support on the monthly. And on the monthly, it happens to be that oscillator on change line. And uh, price has tested that and it's rejected it. Uh, there is a topping pattern. There is the TD9 count topping pattern. But the responsibility of a topping pattern is to push price down to support. And that's what it's done at this stage here. So not until we see breaks of this level would I suggest going short the 30-year uh, treasury. Terrific. Wow, very good, Steve. Thank you. Hey, you bet. You bet. Hope that helps you out. Thanks for holding. Much appreciated. Again, Happy New Year to you and your family. We we'll look forward to speaking to you uh, soon again. That was Bill Absolutely. in you bet. Bill in Jupiter, Florida. We had a request to go take a look at, um, let's see, uh, Peak D wanted to look at a couple of, of instruments out here. Let me see if I can get back to find those. It was, it is SILJ. So let's go take a look at the SILJ. S-I-L-J, see what uh, that is, and A-S-A. That is the Prime Junior Silver ETF out here. So S-I-L-J, let me punch that up on my other charts. You're above daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. So, Peak, if you're asking about that, you're above resistance from that standpoint. We would say that price wants to move higher. Let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart, see if there's any kind of topping pattern or signal out here. Um, none that I can see at the moment. Let's do a quick little wave count uh, to the upside, try to get a feel for where this thing might be at. Um, uh, give me a second here just to go ahead and populate the uh, chart. Wave number five to the upside. Price is above the top of its profile, as we mentioned. It's above Stevie's green line. That's 1208. That could be a buy area. Your question is, can we look at it? And uh, which one is the better buy? Um, 
So this thing here is breaking out. The weekly time frame chart, price is beginning to move higher, doing less relative energy. That's not a problem unless we see some type of bearish reversal candle out here. From a move to the upside, where is it at in its wave count? It's also in wave number five. So you've got the, both the daily and the weekly in the same wave count. Price is up at resistance or a potential resistance area. That's 1251. You're at uh, 1254. So a close above 1251. Eh, it's hard for me to say the three penny is it is a close above if you know what I mean but kind of hard to say that there's a ton of um, a ton of uh, now look when this thing bottomed it was with the roads momentum indicator bottom signal right now that's what's in place on the weekly so that would just have me be a little bit uh, cautious or hesitant on SILJ the monthly time frame chart out here I don't see anything necessarily so let's go take a look at the other one the other instrument was ASA so let's go throw that up on both sets of charts out here say we see where this is trading in relationship to its profiles above the daily right now we won't know if it's above the weekly it's trading above the weekly but we won't know till Friday whether price has been able to take out that resistance level by the way that's 1354 now the month does end today and price is trading above the top of that monthly profile uh, which was 1328 so assuming that there's uh, no uh, big uh, uh, upset uh, in the next few hours out here and this thing pulls back the charts are very similar out here peak um, we can see that um, when I take a look at the daily uh, charts uh, actually the daily is taking on a swing point let's go look at the daily again and uh, even on today's date where there's light volume out here just try to understand what is the volume makeup as it takes out a prior swing point high that prior swing point high looks like was a trading day of September 4th there was volume of 94,000 shares and you've done 57 million shares today peak are you trying to buy a breakout I know you asked the question, which one is the better buyout here? I think we've got to wait to see how the week ends for ASA Gold. Steve Rhodes with TFN, we'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated 
concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, speaking of uh, New Year's out here, Craig writes in, and Craig wants to go take a look at Disney. And I had mentioned to you uh, Times Square as a, a great place to watch the or celebrate, take in the New Year, watch the fireworks. Well, I don't do the fireworks so much, but the uh, ball drop there. But Disney's another great place to uh, celebrate uh, New Year's. Busiest, one of the busiest days of the year. And usually, it's actually July 4th. But uh, New Year's Eve is just as busy. They probably shut down parks. Many of you know I used to own stores on uh, at all the Disney parks properties um, for about uh, for about 20 years uh, out there and uh, so I've seen many of course every night they've got uh, fireworks but I've celebrated New Year's at uh, Disney properties many times out there great place to do it but the question from Craig is hey what's going on with Disney does it have topping patterns and so forth look prices below the bottom of that daily profile out there that was at 146.77 that is suggesting lower price lower price to wear from a profile perspective 141.08 that's the bottom of its weekly profile prices trade above the top of the monthly as far as topping signals and patterns on the daily we've got excuse me the roads momentum indicator top uh, today is going to be bar number nine of a TD setup nine count if there is going to be a bottom Craig it'll either be today's low or it will be Thursday's low if that's not it if we see Friday uh, a move even lower Price could pull all the way back to 130.51 from a daily time frame perspective out there. It's trading at 144 right now on its daily, on, well, on, on any time frame. If you look at the monthly, I'm sorry, the weekly time frame, it too has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. And price is below Stevie's green line. This almost assures us, to the extent that we can have any assurance in this business, of price pulling back and testing the weekly profile, 141.08. So the fly in the ointment out there, you do have a valid TD9 count bottom pattern that's going to confirm today that low could also take place the day after bar number nine so we really won't know till Friday out there Craig but happy to look at it on Friday hey folks uh, be safe out there have a great uh, New Year's Eve celebration and we'll look forward to seeing you on January 2nd take care <laughs>